hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and we're back with another video and in this video we're gonna be talking about java effects animations so in general guys animating an object um, implies creating an illusion of its motion by rapid display so in java effects uh, we can animate a node by changing its property over time and java effects provides a package named java effects that animation and of course this package contains classes that um, are used to animate the nodes so for example you want to animate a certain node for example you want to animate the button you want to animate a certain rectangle a shape so you could do that in java effects and animation is uh, the base class for all of these classes so using Java effects, um, you can apply animations or transitions such as the fade transition, field transition, rotate, scale, stroke, translate, path, um, sequential, pause tr uh, transition, and other animation or transitions available in Java effects. So all these transitions guys are represented by individual classes in the package um, Java effects that animation so there are um, steps that we need to take in order for us to apply animation to a node so the first one is of course you have to have the um, node that you want to animate so you have to create the required node so if you want to uh, um, animate the bottom node so you have to add the bottom to your Java effects application and the second step is to um, instantiate the respective transition or animation class that is to be applied to the node and number three is to set the properties of the transition for example which angle which um, um, the duration of the animation and all of the options available and I'm going to show you some of the options later on in this particular video and the last thing that we need to um, have is play the transition using the play method of the animation class. So these are all the steps that we have to follow in order for us to apply an animation into our um, node. Now I have created already an application right here, a project, JavaFX application 3. And this has, you know, the JavaFX application 3 as the main method and the start and the main method right here so again guys the first step is to make the or to add the required node that we want to animate so for example we want to animate a rectangle so all we have to do is of course add the rectangle here so rectangle and then we need to name it as rec for example okay and then we could set also the points for our rectangle. So for example, one, uh, 120 and then 100 and then uh, 100. This, so this is basically the size and of course the location for our rectangle inside our screen. So after that, we could um, import this. And then right here, we could set the color for our rectangle so we could use the rec object and then set fill and then the color which is for example um, red okay and for now guys we could display this inside our screen so we need to add a root node so we're gonna be using group so this will be group root equals new um, group and then we're going to be adding here the rectangle object okay and then we're going to create the scene equals new scene and then the root object and the size of our screen so for example 600 by 300 and then the stage we're going to set the title for example set title and this will be java effects animation okay and after that we could set or i mean we could set the scene into our stage so set scene and then the scene object 
and lastly uh, lastly we will be showing the stage so by using the show method so we need to import the group object or I mean class and also the scene so let's uh, save this for now and run our file just to see the result so as you can see here we now have the rectangle so basically not or technically it's not the rectangle or uh, as you can see it's a square because we have set this size into 100 by uh, 100 okay but, but we could um, you know change this so for example you want it to be um, 200 so run our file and then it should be like this um, rectangle uh, 100 uh, I mean 200 by 100 pixels in uh, width and height and after that we could add animation to this rectangle so all we have to do is after setting up the color we could set the animation so for example we want to rotate that particular rectangle so we could use rotate transition class so rotate transition I'm just gonna name it as RT for now so um, new transition new rotate transition and then import this okay and then after that guys we could set the duration of this particular animation so RT and then set duration and then we could say here um, duration and we could specify the milliseconds okay so for example we want it to be 1000 ms okay and then we could um, add the animation or set the node for this animation so RT and then set node so basically we're just uh, saying here that um, this particular animation should be applied to this particular object um, rectangle okay and of course you could also set the angle of rotation so RT that set by angle and then you could say here 360 Okay, and then you could also specify the count or the cycle count for this particular animation or how many times this animation should you know run or play so we could say here 50 times and then we could also um, set if you want to uh, auto reverse the animation so RT object and then set auto reverse for now let's just make it as false okay and right after that guys we could you know make this animate by using the RT object and then call the play method so let's save our um, file and then run our file once again just to see the result and as you can see here we now have an animated um, rectangle okay so as you can see this is just a basic example but you can see how the animation works so there are as I've said there are four steps that you could take in order to apply um, an animation into our node so the first one is you have to create a node and in this case we have created a rectangle and then the second one we um, instantiate the class for our animation and then right after that we um, set the properties so for example here we set the angle the cycle count the auto reverse and the last one is to play the animation by using the play method okay so we could set this for example auto reverse we could set this to true and see what happens next so run file okay so as you can see it is trying to reverse after the animation has been you know played 
and i think that's all there is to it for this video guys and we will explore more on animation in the next videos so thank you for watching and see you in the next video